sound, he didn't say a word, just boom, out of nowhere. A woman gets smacked in the head in broad daylight, an unprovoked attack in the Marigny right in front of her home. The punch knocked her to the ground, bruising her foot and leaving her back in pain. But for the victim, the attack left more than that. Tonight, she is rattled and uncertain about her neighborhood. Carice Jackman joins us now with her message for her attacker. Carice? Yeah, that's right, Tana and Natalie. The punch left her in shock, but she says she hopes whoever this guy is gets some help. This was middle of the day. Now, every time somebody walks behind me, I jump. This time of year is scary enough as it is. The cobwebs and skulls outside of Samantha Smith's home are meant to frighten trick-or-treaters. But what happened to her this week from a random stranger left her frantic. I screamed so loud all my neighbors came outside. The creepy encounter happened Wednesday in broad daylight at 2.50 p.m. You could see this young man wearing a black jacket walking down the street. He stops, turns around, and heads straight for her. If you look at my camera footage, he just walks down the street and stops right there and watches me not paying attention to him and then runs at me and punches me in the back of the head. It's absurd. The punch sent Smith to the ground. She quickly got up, running to her husband and her dog named Steve, while the attacker rushed down the road. My husband ran right out. The front door was wide open. He must have seen my dog standing right in the doorway because he hauled just straight down the street. Her husband quickly appears on the front stoop, carrying a semi-automatic rifle. He puts it back inside before eventually giving chase. Smith says she's never seen her attacker before, but right before this punch, he apparently spoke with her neighbor. He said, can you give me a dollar? And she's like, no. And he said, can you give me two dollars? And she's like, no, man, I don't have any money. And then he walked away and said, well, somebody's got to give me something. He didn't have to do that. If he needed a couple of bucks, he could have asked me. Police are looking into the incident, but if they end up catching him, she wants to meet him. If they brought him to me right now, I would talk to him. I want to talk to him. I want to talk to his mom. I want to I want to see what's going on with him that would make him do something like that. Smith says her husband happened to be showing his rifle to a friend when all this happened and she ran upstairs to tell him about the attack. She tells us it's the first time something like this has happened to her, but she also says the crime and theft in this area is getting a lot worse, Natalie. Well, that's some video, Chris. Thank you.